Good night. How are you doing today? <clears throat> hello, Michelle. How are you? Hello, hello. How are you? Are you listening to me, Michelle? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Michelle. Sigo en la logística, Ok, muy bien. <ríe> Excelente, mi niña. Bueno, let's start. Pero lo importante es que se me, me escucha y que estamos en sintonía. Ok, good night, Erika. Welcome to our class. So, eh, as you can see on my screen, we have our agenda for today. And also, we are going to learn something new, right? That is, I mean, for example, all of the things are, for example, review about from yesterday. Has you... As you remember, what do you remember from yesterday? A ver, ¿qué recuerda usted de ayer? Nada, teacher, dormida está. <ríe> A ver, Michelle, what do you remember? Está con el microfonito apagado, mi niña. Ok. <ríe> what do you remember about yesterday? ¿Qué recuerda sobre ayer? Welcome, Julia. Welcome, welcome. Excellent. Welcome, Rafael. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Everybody. Nice to meet you. See you again. Okay. okay. We're talking about with Erica. What did you remember from yesterday? ¿Qué recuerdan del día de ayer? From, I mean, no del día, sino from the class, right? So the principal también de clase. Ya si chera ayer fui a que me fui a dormir y nos ah no de la clase. About the class. How many? How much? How many and how much? Excellent. A ver, Julia, what do you remember? Lo mismo, teacher. Lo mismo. <ríe> Ajá, muy bien. Esta vez le dio copia a Rafael va. <ríe> Muy bien, excelente. Y sí, hemos estado viendo pues el día de ayer. In our first class, how much and how many. Y the, the most important thing is that we practice about this one because as you know, so it's really important to know about it, right? So it's important for many reasons. So because first of all, because you try to focus on every single thing. So for to begin our class, we are going to share with you. So just give me one second for a while. We are going to share some exercise and that you can see and you have to read and then analyze which is the possible answer. Okay. So just give me one second because it's shared in depth. Okay, but for a while, so remember, every single thing that we already learned, it's so important. Why? Because you have to uh, keep in practice. Tiene que mantener practicando. Practicing, practicing, practicing. Okay? So, let's start with our with our game for this night. So, you can appreciate that one. And the instruction is that you can read this one, and then they do have to say which is the correct answer. So, are you ready? Ready? Yes, are you ready? Excellent. Lady Judy, welcome to the rest. Welcome, welcome, everyone. I mean, for the person that it's going to be all right, uh, right now, de las personas que acaban de llegar ahorita mismo. So we are going to do uh, this one. So it's like in a game. So, and you can't reason, you have to think about it, which is the correct answer. Which is our one? Okay, teacher, please. Uh, maybe I think there is letter A, letter B. So everybody has to participate in this exercise. Is everything clear, guys? It's clear, teacher. Ok, se les escucha un poco cortado, quizás es la señal, right? Ok, yes, so, let's start, yes, is it maybe the, la señal ahí que nos, que nos corta un poquito la voz? I guess that maybe it's raining at home, yes, in your homes, because it's, now it's raining inside, it's, it's marvelous, yeah. it's just on a few. Ok, let's read at the beginning, apple, ok, how much apple are there or how many? What do you think there is a correct one? How many? How many? Why is how many? Why you say that is how many? Por qué dice que es how many? Y no how much? Porque Because... la manzana 
The cows. The apple. Uh huh. In English. The apple. Uh huh. Is uh, countable now. Yes, we can count the apple, right? So for that reason is how many, right? How many? Let's see. Yes, you're right. Excellent. Okay, let's continue with the next one. So, sister, have you got how much of how many? How many? How many? Why is how many? Cuéntame. Si me dice how many, tell me why. Tell me why. ¿Eh? Because? Because sister is countable. Sister is countable. Excellent. Very good. So it's how many sister have you got? Or have you had? Okay. Let's continue on this one. Water is there. How much water or how many water? So remember the knowledge about yesterday. How much? How much? Why do you say that is how much? Because not comfortable. Because it's not countable. You cannot say, okay, one one water, two water, three water, four water, five water, six water. No. Why? Oh, right. Because it's uncountable. Just you have to mention, just in measures on amount. Okay. Solo podemos decirlo en medidas o cantidad. Okay. Nos referimos a una unidad de medición. Right. Okay. In this case, how much? Yes, you're right. Excellent. So let's continue on that. Okay. So in this one, you say how much or how many? Okay. Meat is there in the fridge. How can much? I count? Can I count? meat no or can i count um the meat i can say okay one meat two meat three meat four meat what do you think how much how, how much? much okay you say it's how much the teacher the teacher doesn't mm -hmm. know about it because just i'm gonna choose the the answer that you tell me la teacher no sabe solo va a elegir la respuesta que usted me diga Ok, yo solo estoy aquí obedeciendo a sus órdenes por este momento. <ríe> Muy bien, y decimos, ¿verdad? How much. much. Okay. Usted dice que es how much, ok. You say that is how much. Ok, it is brown, the teacher doesn't know about it. Yes, all right. Good, excellent. Ok, we are going to go for the next one. Orange. Ah, it's so easy. How many? How many, right? How many? How many? It's accountable. It's countable, yeah. Because it's accountable. It's orange, it's countable. Yeah, you're right. Okay, how much and how many? Uh, how much? How much? How okay, much? Now, I don't understand because you can count the orange, but you cannot count the judge. Judge? It's not countable. It's, countable. it's not countable. It's for the how reason countable. how much? How much, please? Okay, bread. Ha ha ha. Yes, I remember this one because someone asked me yesterday about bread. How much? How much? How much? How much? It's not countable. Why is not how many? One bread, two bread, three bread. <laughs> no, it's countable, right? Me como siete panes, teacher. No. No, 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 no. Una cola de panes, teacher. Okay, muy bien. Uh, but it, sorry, just give me one second because I need to read the message. I don't know who's shading up the message. Okay. How much? How much? How much? Hi, teacher. Okay, lady. Just for this occasion, right? Just for this one because I know your situation. But yo sé que pueden, eh, por algún motivo, la camarita, ¿verdad? Sí, because it's raining. Yes, I know. So just for a while, so solo para mientras llueve, yes, you can. But now you can turn on your camera, okay? Nadie con camarita apagada, please. Okay, let's continue again. Um, Alfredo Enrique Cornejo. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know, las camaritas apagadas. What happened with your camera? Okay, please, just turn on. Okay. Yes, sure. <laughs> okay, let's go. Sorry. And moment. 
Okay, in a moment. Okay, thank you. Okay, butter is there in the fridge. Okay, how much, how many? You say? How much? How much? Okay, how much? because you know, butter is not countable. Yes, because you can say, you cannot say one water to water now. Okay, so if you remember from yesterday, we say that it's some yeah, on in amounts or measure. Okay, sugar. What about how sugar? Much? How much? So much. How much? How much? How much? It's uncountable. Who wants to count the sugar? Who wants to count the sugar? No, you're not. No. It's uncountable, right? <laughs> granito por granito. Okay, vamos a ver. Let's see. Okay, tomatoes. Tomatoes, do you need to make a salad? How many? How many? How many? How many? Tomatoes. Now, please read there. Okay. How many? Cuando me diga la respuesta, ahora léala. How many? De un solo me dice. Okay, teacher is how many? Y leemos toda la equation, okay? So, okay, biscuits, do you want? So, biscuits is like a cookies. How many? How many biscuits do you want? Okay, you say. Excellent, good. Very good. And what about the next one? Okay, mangoes. Mangoes. How huh? many? How many mangoes are there? How many? Not just how many. How many mangoes are there? Mangoes. Okay. There. How how, <clears throat> how I can say this one, but with English. What is the name of this one? ¿Cuál es el nombre de esto que estoy acá con mi puntero? In English. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Excellent. Ah, good memory. Okay, so it's how many mangoes are there? Excellent. Good. Okay. What about this one? How much flour is there? How much? Uh, uh, not just how much. Read the how much? How much? How much what? Flour is there. Flour is there. Excellent. Remember, read it completed. Okay, nice, very good. Okay. How much or how many? How much? How much? How much do you, do you, do you need for the cake? For the cake. For the cake. How much? Excellent. Excellent, yes, you're right, excellent. You like it? Yes? Yes, clear. Yes, yeah, because it's about exercise that maybe you can think about it. O sea, son esos ejercicios que nos ponen a que el cerebro de verdad eche músculos, ¿verdad? Porque está pensando o se ahuma la casa, una de dos. Ok, muy bien. Let's begin with our presentation. Just give me one second for a while. And also, uh, let's see. What time is it? Ok, I'm... I want that you can hear this one and after that you can practice. I mean, you can practice by yourself in a short time. And then you can, uh, for example, uh, Julianita and Sitanita, please read the conversation. Now, I don't know if you got it. So we are going to listen first to conversation and then you are going to practice. After that, you are going to participate with another classmate. Yes, I don't know if you're right. Oh, if you have any tabletop questions, Teacher, it's a quickly teacher. No le entendí nada como que en chino está hablando la teacher. Vamos a yes, practicar. Yeah. Okay, let's practice yeah. a conversation. So we are going to listen. Mire, teacher, cálmese. Usted se pone, teacher. Mire, aquí estoy en la luna yo y usted hablando. A ver, es que. Okay, let's get a listen this one. O sea, vamos a escuchar, ¿verdad? Y después de que se escuche, espérame que no sé si le di. <coughs> El audio, soy tan emocionada que olvidé. Ah, no, sí, se lo puse. Ok, entonces, you listen this one, and after that you have to, yeah, you have to, I'm going to give you two, some minutes to practice aquí. Nadie se me va a ir a otro lado, aquí. You have to practice. Y aquí voy a ver si usted mueve su boquita, si lo está leyendo, si lo está practicando. Y after that you have to practice with your classmate. Yes, got it. Yes, vaya, lo vamos a escuchar. Uh -huh. Si alguien le costó, ¿verdad? Lo vamos a escuchar. And after that, you are going to practice this one in a short time. And then you have to practice with your classmate. Okay? So, let's listen. What's that? Are you listening to? 
Yes. Yes. ¿Está escuchando? Yes, listen. Listen. ¿Está listen. escuchando eso? Ok. Yes. It's a... that? It's a questionnaire from the doctor. It's about my diet. Uh-huh. What do you eat and drink in a week? Number one. How much butter and cheese do you eat? Not much. Not much? You have a cheese sandwich every day. And you always have a lot of cheese and butter in it. OK. Number two. How many cakes and biscuits do you eat? Not many. Not many? You normally have three or four biscuits with a cup of coffee. And you eat a lot of cakes, too. And not... <sighs> Where are you going? You can fill in the questionnaire. I'm going to get some food. OK, it's enough one time. Or do you want to listen again? It's, it's enough? It's clear? Or do you need to listen again? ¿Necesita escucharlo de nuevo? Or it's OK. Again, teacher. Again, OK. The last time, and after that, you have to practice. La última vez, y después de acá, sí a practicar, OK? Yes, OK? Careful with the pronunciation. What's that? It's a questionnaire from the doctor. It's about my diet. Uh-huh. What do you eat and drink in a week? Number one. How much butter and cheese do you eat? Not much. Not much? You have a cheese sandwich every day. And you always have a lot of cheese and butter in it. OK. Number two. How many cakes and biscuits do you eat? Not many. Not many? You normally have three or four biscuits with a cup of coffee. And you eat a lot of cakes, too. And not... <sighs> Where are you going? You can fill in the questionnaire. I'm going to get some food. Now it's, it's clear. Uh, do you want to listen one more time? No, it's enough. I think that it's enough. Pienso que es suficiente, yes? Sí. <ríe> no los escucho tan convencidos. Ok, muy bien. Vamos a, a repetirlo, ok? So, you listen the pronunciation, ok? Ya escuchó la pronunciación. Entonces, yo le voy a dar, ok, lo voy a poner acá un poquito más pequeñito para que usted pueda eh, lo que es permítanme lo voy a hacer más pequeño para que usted pueda ver ok, 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 ok just give me one second, me metí en otra cosa ok, no se ve todavía ahí está Ahí estamos, aquí ahora sí ya será. Así que usted, you are going to practice right now in a short I'll give you to do. Okay, let's see what time is it. And you have five minutes. Five minutes is enough? You think that is enough? Because the majority of time we practice for four minutes. Just because it's the first time doing this one, you are going to say five. Okay, this is about review. This is a review from yesterday. Este es un todavía repaso. Then we are going to start with our class for today. So, uh, we are going to practice uh, June till 23 minutes after 7. Okay? So, practice this one, please. I'm going to check if you have to practice. And then you are going to practice with another class.
Okay, guys, the time is over. Are you ready? Just ready? Okay, vamos a empezar con, vamos a ver. Let's see. Alfredo Enrique y Clara Marina. You, one of you is your A and one of you, you are B, but you choose which uh, do you want to be. Yeah? Got it? Okay. Okay. Mm, Clara, feliz a usted. Okay, Clara, or is that you? Is that you, Alfredo, with A? Okay. okay. What that? Clara? Clara, answer. It's a questionnaire from the doctor. It's about my diet. Clara, are you there? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué se me hizo Clara? Clarita, Clarita, Clarita. ¿Cómo luz Clarita? ¿Qué se me hizo Clara? Clara no estaba ready. Ok. Creo que tiene mala la señal, teacher. Ah, ok, perfecto, perfecto. Ok, vamos a elegir entonces Alfredo y Francisco. Ya empezó Alfredo, así que responde Francisco. Ok. Eh, it's a question from the doctor. It's about my diet. Mm -hmm. What do you eat and drink a with? Number one, how much butt and cheese do you eat? Uh, not much. Not much? You had a cheese sandwich every day and you always had a lot of cheese and but a in it. Okay. Number two, how many cakes and biscuit do you eat? Uh, not many. No many? You normally had three and four biscuit with a cup of coffee and you eat a lot of cakes to end? Uh, where are you going? You can fill in the question now. I'm going to get some food. Finish. Okay, very good. Nice. Thank you, Alfredo and Francisco. Y continuamos con Jaime Vladimir y Jenny Marisol. Ready? Ready, yes. teacher. Okay. Que inicia. Wherever you want. Quien usted quiera. Puede ser usted. Inicia usted, Jaime. El primero que hable, ese inicia. <laughs> What that? Okay. It's a questionnaire from the doctor. It's about my diet. Uh-huh. What, what do you eat and drink in the week? Number one, how much butter and cheese do you eat? Not much. Not much? You have a cheese sandwich every day, and you always have a lot of cheese and butter in it. Okay. Number two, how many cakes and biscuits do you eat? Not many. Not many? You normally have three or four biscuits while a cup of coffee, and you eat a lot of cake to do and? What are you doing? You can fill in the questionnaire, I'm going to get some food. Okay, excellent, good pronunciation. Jenny, felicidades, Jaime, congratulations too. Good presentation. Okay, Jocelyn, are you ready, Jocelyn? Let's see, pero me voy con Jocelyn. Todavía no me los puedo, chicos. Segundo día. Ay, perdónenme, por favor. <laughs> Jocelyn and Julia. La teacher tiene bad memory. Like, memory like the Doris. You know Doris? You know about Doris? Yes. yes. <laughs> the teacher is, is, is similar to Doris. Forget everything. <laughs> Olvida todo. Okay. 
Ok. Falta de memoria a corto plazo. Sí, sí, no, la teacher todito se le olvidó. Usted me dice cómo se llama. No, mañana no me acuerdo. Así que la teacher es like a Doris. <ríe> ok, muy bien. Eh, Jenny en... Quiero ver, ¿quién más? No, Jenny ya pasó, perdón. ¿Quién dije? ¿Quién dije? Ya ve, ya ve que soy igualita a Doris. <ríe> Estamos con Jocelyn, sí, espérenme que si se me va Ajá, Ajá Jocelyn y ¿Quién más dije? Jocelyn y, ja y Lady, ¿verdad? Porque Jaime ya pasó Jocelyn y Lady O Julia, ¿Quién dije? Julia dije, ¿verdad? Sí, teacher Julia dije Ah, ya ves que la teacher igual que la Doris Ok, Julia, go ahead Julia Sí Ok, empiezo. What's that? A ver. It's a, it's a questionnaire from the doctor. It's about my dad. Oh, what do you eat and drink in a week? Number one, how much butter and cheese do you eat? Not much. Not much? You have a cheese sandwich every day and you always have a lot of cheese and butter in it. Okay. Number two, how many cakes and biscuits do you eat? Not many. Not many. Not many? You normally have there or four biscuits with a cup of coffee and you eat a lot of cakes too, and Where are you going? You can fill in the questionnaire I'm going to get some food. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Now, now, Lady y Michelle. Ahora sí va Lady. Lady y Michelle. Es que acá los llevo por orden, pero a veces se me mueve. Así que ustedes comprenden a Lady. Lady y Michelle. What's that? It's a questionnaire from the doctor. It's about my diet. Mm, what do you eat and drink in a week? Number one, how much butter and cheese do you eat? No much. No much? You have a cheese sandwich every day and you always have a lot of cheese and you burn it. Okay. Number two, how many cakes and big Biscuits, do you eat? No many. No many? You normally have three or four biscuits with a cup of coffee and you eat a lot of cakes too. And Where are you going? You can fill in the questionnaire. I'm going to get some food. Okay, excellent. Thank you, honey. No, Clarita, no perdió su turno. Lo que pasó es que me comentaban que tenía problemas de conexión. Ahora sí, ¿ya está lista, Clarita? Yes, teacher. Ahora sí. Es que en eso creo que yes. se, le fue, se le fue la señal porque me quedé y Clarita, y Clarita, y me dijeron sus compañeros. No, es que tiene problemas de señal de conexión. Ok, vamos con Clara entonces y vamos a ver, necesito un boy. Ah, ne, 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 ne. Miren, y ahora, ayer habían bastantes boys y ahora veo poquitos. Ya vamos a ir arreglando esta situación. Ok, y Rafael Ernesto. Ok, teacher. Ok, Clara y Rafael. Go ahead. What's that? It's a question for, from the doctor. It's about my PA. Oh, what do you eat, eat drink, eat with number one? How much butter in cheese do you eat? Not much. No much. You had a cheese sandwich every day and you always had a lot, a lot of cheese in butter in it okay okay mm -hmm. continue Ahí sigue. Sigue, 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 sigue. number two how many cakes in biscuit do you eat not many 
not many. You normally have three or four biscuits with a cup of coffee and you eat a lot of cakes too. Um, Where are you going? You can fill in the questionnaire. Questionnaire. I going to have some food. Finish, teacher. Excellent. Good. Nice. Very good. Thank you. Solo me queda, si no me equivoco, Judy. ¿Verdad, Judy? Usted no me ha participado. Me queda Judy. No participado. Ajá, muy bien. Judy, alguien que no haya mencionado, chicos, porque acá yo lo estoy viendo. Alguien, creo que todos pasaron ya, ¿verdad? Bueno, Yuri, ¿usted va a ser mi compañera entonces, Yuri? ¿Can you mm -hmm. Ok, what's that? Eh, it is a questionnaire from the doctor. It's about my diet. Oh, what do you eat and drink in a week? Number one, how much butter and cheese do you eat? No much. No much. You have cheese sandwich every day, and you always have a lot of cheese and butter in it. Okay. Number two, how many cakes and biscuits do you eat? Not many. Not many. Do you normally have three or four biscuits with a cup of coffee? And you eat a lot of cake too. And where, where are you going? You can fill in the questionnaire and we're going to get some food. Okay. ¿Quién estaba mintiendo? ¿Será que estaba mintiendo? <laughs> Sobre la dieta. Okay, yes, ¿verdad? Lo que queremos hacer la dieta y nunca podemos, ¿verdad? Levanten la mano, todos la vamos a levantar. <ríe> Muy bien, excelente, nos cuesta hacer dieta. Me, vea, mentimos cuando vamos al doctor y ya nos encuentran todo ahí como que, no, no, es mentira, yo no como eso, ¿verdad? Muy bien, hacemos lo del cuestionario. Ok, excellent. If you can see, if you can appreciate, we can practice how many and how much. Practicamos el how many y el how much. Excellent, good pronunciation. Por ahí escuché pronunciaciones. So beautiful, guys. Excellent. No quiere decir que, ay, teacher, o sea que yo lo dije feo, teacher. No. Everybody say the good, they have the good pronunciation, but some of them have like kind of, okay, your pronunciation is so nice. And maybe you have just to practice a little bit and you have to get a perfect pronunciation. Y tal vez solo nos falta un poquitito, just, just a little. And our pronunciation is awesome. Okay, guys, uh, now I'm going to pass the attendance list and worry about it. Because and let me know, let me know. Yes, it's, you can help me with the microphone, please. Okay. So uh, I'm worried because, for example, from yesterday we are going to we are 14 and from today 13. So if someone of your coworker or friend is missing, so you can tell or tell him or her, so they have to join us to the class because it's necessary, right? Y si no me equivoco, creo que es Jonathan, right? If I know wrong. Jonathan. Right? Si no veo a Jonathan. Poco está trabajando. Oh, ok. Ok, vaya. Sí, porque es que ayer lo vi, estaba preguntando mucho, bien interactivo y todo, pero ahora no lo veo y estoy preocupada. Pero si es por motivo de trabajo, ok. Eh, siempre recuerde conectarse, ¿verdad? Y si hay alguien que se le ha quedado un compañero ahí que por la tormenta, ay, no me voy a quedar mejor tomando chocolate que aprendiendo inglés. No, 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 ok. Dígale, no. Hey, you know so the English class. Ok, vamos a pasar lista. Y por eso lo estaba diciendo, I'm going to mention that, porque voy a pasar lista y es como que, ¿verdad? Tenemos que estar todos corazones. Ok, muy bien. Just give me one second, because it's charging. We're going to wait for that one. Okay, Alfredo Enrique Cornejo, Ceseña. Presente, teacher. Ceseña is your last name. Yes, right? Yes, yes. Ceseña, okay. Ceseña. Right. I have never heard that last name. It's new for me. Miren, nunca había escuchado ese apellido. Beautiful. Okay, Brian. Thank you, teacher. Alexis Ramirez Murcia. Brian, ¿quién sabe de Brian? Do you know about Brian? 
¿Quién conoce a Brian? Que le diga, Brian, ¿qué te pasó? Carlos Jonathan Valladares me informan que está trabajando. Mancilla. Clara Marina Sánchez Moreno. Present teacher. David Alberto Martínez Pérez. No. Ah, estaba de oyente. Ya por ahí lo vi. Él está trabajando también, teacher. También. Ok, gracias. Ok, Erika Michelle Escamilla Verazo. Fátima Marisela Flores Ramírez. Do you know about Fátima? Nobody. ¿Alguien sabe de Fátima Marisela Flores Ramírez? Hmm. No. Bueno, aquí está una Fátima. Bueno. <ríe> Francisco Alexander Maravilla Melgar. Presente, chao. Jaime Enrique Flores Sánchez. ¿No está Jaime Enrique Flores Sánchez? No me vino Jaime ahora. Vaya. Jaime Vladimir Palacios. ¿Sí Present, teacher. Ok, thank you. Jenny Marisol Rodríguez Cruz. Present, teacher. Jocelyn Abigail Rodríguez López. Present. Julia Margarita Varías Valladares. Present. <ríe> Carla Beatriz García de la O. Carla. You know about Carla. ¿Quién sabe de Carlita? Nadie. Tampoco. Carla, ¿qué, teacher? Carla Beatriz García de la O. Ah, ya estuve chateando con ella, pero mío que no se había podido conectar ni ayer ni ahora. Ay, bueno, por alguna razón ha de ser, pero usted invítela, siempre púyemela ahí. Dígale, Carlita, don't forget English class because we have to practice. Dígale. Lady Marily González García. Lady, lady. Present. Es de uh, Luz Yamilet Vicente Rodríguez. Luz Yamilet. Ella ¿Tan? dijo que ya no iba a seguir. Qué pecado más grande. ¿Por qué? Eh, ahí les estuvo llamando y dijo que ya había hablado con los inglés. Ay, bueno, bueno. The next time. Rafael Ernesto López. Present teacher. Y Yuri Magdalena Villanueva de Trinidad. Present. Vaya, muy bien, chicos. Ahí estamos. Gracias por decirme present. Les agradezco. Thank you very much. Ahora sí, vamos a empezar con nuestra clase. Muy bien. As you can see in this presentation. Se mira mi presentación. Hola. No se ve. Todavía no. Ahí está. Ya, ya le va a aparecer, le está cargando. Ahí sí. Bye. Okay. Cuando los escucho calladitos, pienso que me quedé sola y me da miedo. Ay, no. No, 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 no. Cuando ya les, ya les había explicado, si alguna vez me salgo de la clase, o sea, no me salgo, ¿verdad? Sino que me saca el intero cualquier eh, problema. Usted se queda ahí, no se vaya a ir esperándome, bien atento. Muy bien, vamos a ver Review and Practice, que ya lo vimos. Y Have to. Have you listened about Have to, guys? Have you listened about have to? No, teacher, deje de inventar. ¿Han escuchado sobre el have to? Y this presentation is just for remember the rules. Please turn on your camera. Please say present when I pass your test. Perdón, the attendant, please. And the rules. Okay, let's see. Have you listened about have to? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. How we can use have, have to and has. Have to mm -hmm. is a third person teacher. Are you a third person in plural? Okay. Pero como para qué usamos el have to? Como tener. Tienes tú. Tener, tienes tú, muy bien. ¿Para qué más? Solo para eso. <laughs> Just for that. Es una posesión. Ajá. Eh, yes, it's like possession, pero posesión también es otra cosita. Así que lo vamos a despegar un poquito de la posesión. 
Si no, pues es el verbo. It's a verb. You know that it's a verb, right? Sabe que es el verbo, ¿verdad? It's a verb. Es un verbo que lo conjugamos de diferentes maneras. Okay, so you have to conjugate it. So this one in different, in different, in different, in different. I mean, so different um, ways. Different ways. First of all, because you use this one, maybe for... Okay, I want to say, I have to go to the church. It's an obligation, okay? It's an obligation. So, we are going to practice this one little by little for a while. You understand this one. Con el objetivo que usted lo entienda. Okay, if you can, I mean, what do you see in the screen? ¿Qué ve usted? En la pantalla. Letras, colores, teacher. <laughs> the first person and the third, third person. The first person, the first, I mean, subject, it, it's also the singular, plural and singular. Positive okay. and negative, yes. Positive and negative, muy bien. Estamos más que bien por ahí. Muy bien, usted dice, I have to, you have to, ¿verdad? Y así vamos diciendo, diciendo, uh, I do with they. Sí. Solo con eso, teacher. No. No, because also we have here the third person. He, she, in it. And we have to use the same. No. Because for the third person, just you have to say, okay, I have to. In negative, it's another thing. So in negative, you say, because you need an auxiliary. See? <coughs> Sorry. You need auxiliary when you're talking about so the first and the third. So you need an auxiliary. Don't for the I, you, and with they. So, and when you're talking about the person that is he, she, and it, you need doesn't. Doesn't have. Okay? Now it's got it. Yes. Got it, got it, got it. Muy bien, entonces ahora ya está clarito. Ok, what is the difference de affirmative and negative? Como ya pregunté, necesito, ya expliqué, ahora voy a preguntar. Eh, how I can use affirmative and negative? Which is the difference? Mm -hmm. Auxiliar verb. The auxiliary the auxiliary, excellent. This is a one of the one of the difference. And another one, we have used the same for the first and the third person. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. It's possible to say yes. It's possible, teacher. No, even in negative. Because for negative, you have to use done. And then you have to use a uh, doesn't. That is, not, that is not the same. So you have a different auxiliary. But this is in negative. And for affirmative, it's something easy because you don't have to need any auxiliary to say any sentence, right? Just you say, okay, I have to. Affirmative in negative is different because in negative, you need an auxiliary. If you don't put the array of say this auxiliary, it's wrong. Teacher, you puedo decir not have to. You need the auxiliary. Done. Okay. So for the third person, just you say, just you say has to in affirmative. In negative, you need an auxiliary. That is doesn't have. Ah, o sea que solo le agrego el auxiliary, pero dependiendo, y if the third person is plural or singular. Exacto, así, así tal cual. Muy bien. ¿Qué entiende de esta slide? What do you understand about this slide? Mm -hmm. ¿Por qué tanto silencio? Qué tímidos han venido ahora, no, si ya los voy a poner a jugar y a bailar porque yo escucho un solo silencio, ya se durmieron por la tormenta, sí, eso es eso. <risa> <risa> 
<ríe> Ay, teacher, ah. inventor es usted. <ríe> Ajá. How to Ajá. in the third person and third person in plural. Ajá. As to in the second person, he, she, he is. Ajá. And what auxiliary, which is the difference with the auxiliaries? Doesn't have to. The base form, the verb. Uh, hasn't in what? Doesn't. 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 Ajá. Uh -huh. Doesn't have to. Doesn't. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, don't for what? Y el don't, ¿para qué? The third person and third person in plural. Don't have to. Ok, excelente. Good learners. Excelente aprendizaje. Mire, fácil, ¿verdad? Qué fácil agarran ustedes. Y bueno, ojo, aquí viene su ejercicio. <ríe> no todo termina ahí, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Let's practice this one. For example, have. Present, present, and present. Ok, estamos hablando sobre el present. Ok, desde el momento que tengo have, tengo que entender que estoy, um, I am checking about in present. For example, a present tense, I have a cat. I don't have a cat. They have a nice car. They don't have a nice car. She, with the third person, she has a dog. She doesn't have a dog. Jaime has an exam tomorrow. Jaime doesn't have an exam tomorrow. Okay. Now, pass. Pero el pasado no lo vamos a tocar porque ahí ya cambiamos la forma. Así que el pasado lo dejamos de un lado. But I need, ¿qué necesito? Que redacte. Ten sentence. ¿Puedo repetir los pronombres, teacher? Can I repeat every single noun? Yes, you can. The first, you are going to write ten sentences using the third, the third person, he, she, and it. You have to include it. He, she, and it. So, it have, for example, it doesn't have Color. Esto no tiene color. Podría ser una piece of paper. Teacher, esto no tiene color. It doesn't have the color. Porque it, it's reference to things, right? El it se representa con cosa. ¿Qué va a ser? Ten sentence. You're going to write ten sentence using have. Have and you have to use has with he, she, and it. Incluyendo tercera persona. ¿Estamos claros lo que vamos a hacer? <coughs> eh, vamos a hacer 10 oraciones usando how. ¿Qué es? ¿Incluyendo qué? Including third person, incluyendo his, she, and it. En esas 10. Eh, solo con how. Have and has, porque es diferente. Vamos a incluir tercera persona. Sí, have. Oh. You have, we have, no solo con I have, ¿verdad? Teacher, I have shoes. Teacher, I have a house. No. ¿Verdad? No solo I have a have, no. Utilice todos los subjects. Todos. I, you, we, they, he, she, it, right? Puedo repetir porque no son 10 teachers, claro que sí. Pero una o dos. It's enough. ¿Estamos claros lo que vamos a hacer? Ok, you sí. have to work in that until three, five minutes. Solo cinco minutos hoy para trabajar. Okay. Sí, todas en positivo, ninguno, neg ninguno negativo. Todas, todas por el momento afirmativo, ¿ok? Todas afirmativo. Just afirmative. Ok, any other questions? No. Ok. Um, <coughs> 53. Ok, two minutes to eight, I'm going to start. Work in that.
Okay, ready, right? Okay, you are going to ready. You are going to start this one. So, usted va a empezar in this moment. Rafael, go ahead. <laughs> okay, teacher. Okay, I have a car. Okay. Uh, I will pass. You have, I have four dogs. We have a lot of money. Money. He has a big house. No termine, no finish, teacher. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. No se preocupe. You don't finish. Okay, thank you, Rafael. Thank you. Okay, okay, let's see. Alfredo, what about you, Alfredo? Alfredo Enrique. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Alfredo. No terminé. Tampoco no solo tengo no cinco. No se preocupe. Si no termino, no se preocupe. Don't worry, ¿ok? Dígalas, Hola. Dígalas que tenga. No se preocupe. Dígalas que tenga. Hola. Me escucha, diga las que tenga. Ah, ok. Sí. Yes. Ok, muy bien. Uh, I had a question. Uh -huh. <laughs> What is your question? <laughs> <laughs> you had a uh, one minute. Ok. Uh, they had a uh, one apple. Uh -huh. He has a car. Uh -huh. She has a flower. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, Clara. Clara, is your turn, Clara? Six teacher. I have a dog. He has a brother. She has a car. I have a house. We have a friends. They had a t-shirt black. Okay, t-shirt. Okay, thank you, Clara. Excellent. Thank you, thank you, honey. Okay, let's see Francisco. No, Francisco ya pasó, ¿verdad? ¿Cuándo pasó? No, no ha pasado, vea. Espéreme, 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 Francisco. Me falta Francisco. Voy a hacer algo acá para que no se me confundan quienes ya pasaron. Vaya. ¿Cuál Francisco dice? <ríe> Yo, Francisco. <ríe> ok, muy bien. ¿no? Vamos a ver. Francisco, go ahead. Ah, ya. Yeah. <ríe> sí, ya, Francisco. Yo esperándole y usted esperando que yo le dije. <ríe> ok. Eh, I have a dog. He has a computer, she has a dog, they have a car, we have a house, eh, I have a class note, you have a mirror tomorrow, they have a TV, we have money, y I have a anchor. No sé si, si están bien. A, a what? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo fue la última palabra, Francisco? Eh, I have a anchor. Uncle, ah, excellent. Yes. Muy bien, yes, uncle, yes, you're right. Thank you, yes, you are good, excellent. Thank you, Francisco. I'm looking for Jaime Vladimir. Ready? Yes, teacher. Only eight. Okay, don't worry. I have a cat. She, she have a three case. They have a beautiful, beautiful house. Mm -hmm. I have a bicycle. I have a book, he have a dog, he have a computer, I have a five brothers. Five brothers, oh my goodness, so much. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, tiene muchos hermanos. Muy bien, excellent. Jaime, Jenny, what about you, Jenny? Okay. Uh, I have a cause. A uh, cell mobile. I have a big house. Mm -hmm. He has two dogs. She has a brother. They had a lot of money. Uh, he had a, a shower. Mm -hmm. Just that. Yes. Okay, Jenny. Thank you, Jenny. Good job. Excellent. Muy bien. Jonathan. Ya vino Jonathan. Ya vino Jonathan. 
pero no creo que está de oyente porque no. Yes, teacher. Ay, Jonathan, ya vino. <ríe> so late, Jonathan, porque anda viniendo tarde, Jonathan. No, yo sé que estaba trabajando. Ah, ok, Jonathan, no sé si las tiene, no sé si está listo, if you're ready. Estamos hablando del have. We're talking about have. Ready? No. Uh, for example. Ajá, ajá, examples about how and how. Um, for example, I have a TV, you have a cell phone, they have a... So, basic example. Okay, I have a computer. Mm -hmm. And... She has a uh, um, umbrella. Um, umbrella. Uh, makeup. Makeup. Excellent. And he has. Um, he has. He has a uh, book. Okay, he has a book. Excelente. Muy bien, Jonathan. Thank you. Ok, agarramos a quemar ropa, Jonathan. Muy bien. Jocelyn, para que good try it. Jocelyn. Um, I have a new bag. He has long hair. He has black fur. You have a problem. Mm -hmm. We have dinner with your family. Mm -hmm. Um, they have cleaned your house. I have a little sister. They have a exam tomorrow. Okay, thank you, Julia. What about you, Julia? Leo, mis oraciones. Yes, Julia. Yes, claro que sí. Yes. Era de las tres formas, has, have y had. Podría incluir las que usted quisiera. Okay. I have a guitar. You have a horse. She has a pretty family. She has a good personality. It has water. We had a party yesterday. You had a class last night. They have a big house. I have a beautiful face. She has an eraser. Okay, just when you reference he had a party yesterday, ahí no es have en presente, sino en pasado porque estamos hablando de ayer. Sí, era have, have, have. have. Sí, ahí sí, ajá, ok. No, esa la tenemos que poner en pasado, con had. Aunque had, sí, ¿verdad? Sí, la tengo, had. Con had, ah, ok, perfecto. Pero had, no lo estábamos tocando, princesa, pero muy bien. Good react. Ok, muy bien. Lady, what about you, lady? Okay. I have a dog. They have a new phone. We have a party tonight. She has a pretty... A smile, he has a new car, my brother has a bad moon, they have a beautiful house, we have to go to work tomorrow, my cousin have a lot of clothes, my mom has a daughter. Excellent, good, excellent, congratulations lady. Okay, Michelle, what about you, Michelle? Michelle, Michelle, are you there? I voy, te voy bien, excellent. You have a a beautiful hair. She has a big family. He has a red car. It has many years. I have a bad genius. Okay. You, <laughs> you have a question. I have a old cell phone. She has a big TV. I have a short family. Excellent. Good, Michelle. Excellent. Thank you. Rafael, ya pasó. Y Yuri. Judy, 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 you're the last one, Judy. I have three dogs. He, he has a car. She has a bike. They had a many biscuits. We had much gold for tomorrow. It, it has much color. I had a little house. He has a cat. She has many clothes. clothes. We had flowers. They had cell phones. Okay, thank you, Judy. Good, well done. Excellent. Bueno, ya vimos acá los ejemplos y luego tenemos acá esta slide, ¿verdad? Que yo los, ya les había mandado anteriormente, pues, la presentación. 
if you have some, uh, if you read this one and uh, before, so for example, we have affirmative, we have negative, we have questions. In questions, the, it's totally different because we need auxiliary, auxiliary, so do. When you use he, she, and it is does, okay? So this is the equation, does he, as you can see on question, negative and affirmative, okay? So remember, when we're talking about negative, okay, you say, you use uh, done. For example, vamos a hacer un ejercicio así rápidamente. Algo que usted no tenga. Okay, voy a empezar con Michelle. Michelle, dígame algo que usted no tenga. I don't have money, for example. La teacher no tiene dinero. Okay, ¿usted? Perdón, Michelle, no le escuchamos. <laughs> Yo pensé en money también. En money también. Vaya, pues no tenemos dinero. Todos estamos por aquí. Yuri, what about you, Yuri? Algo que no tenga. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I don't have... I, I don't have um, a car. Ok, yo tampoco. <ríe> Excelente, muy bien. Eh, vamos con, let's see, Yuri. Rafael. Something that you don't have. Something that you don't have. Algo que no tenga. I don't have a house. I don't have a... Whatever. I don't, I don't have a... I, I don't, I don't plan. You don't have a... Um, Air condition. Aeroplan. Avión. Ah, a airplane. A airplane. airplane. Rafael, en vez de pedir, yo tampoco tengo un avión. Bueno, I don't have an airplane. A uh, airplane, excellent. Lady, what do you have? Lady, what? Something that you don't have. Lady, lady. I don't have uh, money. I don't have money. <laughs> money, too. Todos estamos pobres. Okay, Jenny. I don't have bicycle. I don't have bike, okay? Bike. Bicicleta, verdad? Bike. Okay, uh, Jocelyn, something that you don't have. I don't have a dog. You don't have a dog. Excellent. Let's see, Jonathan, something that you don't have. Jonathan? I don't have um. I don't have a house. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no tiene caso, le vamos a regalar una llenate. Ok. I, I don't, don't have, have a, a dog. A dog. Ok. Eh, Alfredo Enrique, something that you don't have. I don't have motorcycle. I don't have whatever. I don't have the computer. I don't have computer. Excellent. Clara, something that you don't have. I don't have family. I don't have sister. I don't have brother. Do I have a, a bus? I don't have a bus. No, yo tampoco tengo bus. <laughs> Muy bien. Jaime, what about you, Jaime Vladimir? I don't have a pink shirt. Pink shirt. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. Shirt. Okay. And vamos a ver, Francisco. Yes, teacher. Something that you don't have. Uh, I don't have a car. A car, excellent. Yo, ah, no, Jocelyn ya pasó. Eh, Yuri también, ¿verdad? Julia, me queda Julia. Julia, 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 Julia. I don't have a car. You don't have a car too. Excellent, muy bien. Varios, no tenemos muchas cosas. Muy bien, bueno, si se fijó, ¿cuál fue el auxiliar que utilizamos en este ejercicio? No. Don't. 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 Y, si hubiera, y si hubiéramos dicho algo en tercera persona, ¿cuál hubiéramos utilizado? Das. Das. No. Ok, excelente. Das, pero en negativo, ¿verdad? Das. Ajá, das o das not. Das es como lo más común que se dice. Das es como, sí es lo correcto, ¿verdad? Pero es la forma larga. Y más que todo utilizamos el contraction. Ok, acá tenemos, ¿verdad? Los plurals. I have, ¿verdad? Y tenemos todos los que son plurals y tenemos los singulares. ¿Cómo distinguimos los plurals de los singulares? 
how can identify it? Ah, mira, a ver. ¿Cómo identifica los plurales de los singulares? Ahí está en pantalla algo. ¿Podría explicarme cuál es la diferencia? ¿Perdón? Primera persona y tercera persona. Primera persona y tercera persona. Pero identificamos el plural y el singular porque sabemos que las terceras personas son... Singular. Son singular. Ajá, he, she, and it. Excelente. Y luego tenemos los plural. ¿Cuáles son los plural? I, we, you, they. Teacher me va a decir usted, pero acá en los plurales está el I. ¿Por qué está I en plurales, teacher? Si estoy hablando solo de mi persona. Y tendría que decir I has. No, ¿verdad? No es que se refiera a que yo soy muchos, sino que yo digo en primera persona, porque esta no es plural, es primera persona. Ojo con eso, careful, because I, I no es plural. Tenga en cuenta que plural son more than one. Por ejemplo. Por ejemplo, we, 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 they, teacher. we, you, they, students, ok. Todo aquello, ¿verdad? Muy bien, excelente. Vamos entendiendo, perfecto. Muy bien, y este ejercicio, espero que usted me ayude. Está muy fácil y usted ya lo tiene ahí hecho, ¿verdad? ¿Ya lo tiene resuelto? Claro, la teacher ya se lo había pasado. Ok, yo es que me iba a Si por el tiempo es que no terminamos a complementar todo, ¿verdad? Eso le queda a usted como práctica, ¿sí? Ok, number one. I have hat. How? Hat. Capital letter, oh. capital letter o no capital letter. ¿Sabe qué es capital letter? ¿You know what is capital letter? Yes, teacher. Ok. Capital. ¿Capital letter o no capital letter? No capital letter. No, no capital letter. Ok, number two. You have. ¿Capital you letter have. o no capital letter? No capital no letter. No capital letter. Number three. ¿Capital letter o no capital letter? No, no capital, capital letter. letter. Is? How. How. I have. How. And apple. Ok, muy bien. Number four. He has. He has. ¿Por qué hay dos espacios? Why is uh, there are two spades? Yes. Uh, he has. He has. A a uh, sería. He has. He has. He has. He en negativo sería. Has o have. Have. Has. Does in has. He has. Have. 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 ¿Qué es? ¿Das en qué? Das en qué. Ajá, entonces no es has, ¿verdad? Es has. Es has. Porque el auxiliar ya está conjugation. The auxiliary is conjugation about the pair. So we don't have to depend for. And that is in this for is have. Okay, number four. What is the correct answer to number four? Answer. It's what? She does. doesn't she? have. She doesn't have. Doesn't have. Okay. Porque quedan negativos, teacher. Doesn't have. We have two spades. So. Uy, uy, uy. Ahí no se va a ver. Ok, doesn't have, porque es negative, which is a negative, so we are going to, if you notice, in all of this one, just we have one space, so why we have double space in every single sentence? Do you notice why? Sí, lo perdí. <laughs> Dice, por favor, ve a traerme la luna. 
¿Por qué? ¿Por qué tenemos solo un espacio? Y yo me voy a doble espacio. Ajá, double space. ¿Por qué? ¿Y para qué voy a usar el otro espacio, verdad? Ajá, ¿por qué la primera solo tiene un espacio? Ah, ok. Ajá, so, muy bien. Pero acá queda opción. Vamos a hacer esta. Y esta, si no la quiero hacer negativa, como me queda. The next one. If you don't want to go to do in a negative way. So, just in positive. So, if you do what? In affirmative. Uh -huh. Affirmative. Have a key. Have a key. Have a key. Okay, now we are going to this one. So, also in affirmative. She. She, affirmative, she, she has, has, she has, a, she has, a, how much a, she has, a camera, she has, a camera, has a camera. okay, y acá también is another option, is it is, is it is negative, como me quedas de negativa, okay. it doesn't have, doesn't have, a camera. Okay. It's, vamos a ver, it's negative. Doesn't have red bell. Doesn't have, have a red bell. Okay. Doesn't have un cinturón rojo. Doesn't have a red bell. Y si me queda, no se distingue. Y si lo hago uh, afirmativo, ¿cómo queda? It has a red bell. It has a... a, a esa A la tengo que mencionar. <coughs> Uy. A red bell. Kate. Kate, vamos a hacerla. Afirmativo. Kate. Has. Has. A big bag. A big bag. Negativo, pasa la negativa. Kate okay, doesn't have a bit bad. Ok, Scott. Scott. Hat. Kate okay, doesn't have. Scott have. O has. Has. Hat. Has a umbrella. A umbrella, porque es a bubble. Ok. A umbrella. Ok, negativo. <coughs> negativo. Ajá, muy bien. Excelente. Bueno, chicos, ¿any doubts so far? ¿Dudas? No, vamos bien. Muy bien. ¿Cuál será la respuesta de this one? Dice, have o has to. A ver. I have. I have to. to. I have to. I have to. Number two. Uh, she has to. Have to. Number three. Has to. She has to. She has to. Y si la pasar a negativo? She doesn't have to. She doesn't have to. Okay, muy bien. Number four. Ah, we so. have to. Number five. I have to. Number six. Bon have. I have to. ¿Por qué Javi no has? Porque es no We. Mm -hmm. It's we. Because it's plural. Yeah. Number seven. It has to. Yes. 
number eight. I have to. Has to. Number nine. Have to. Number ten. Has to. Has to. Okay. Uy, perdón, ahí quedó bajito. Okay, ahora usted tiene que leerlas una por una. Okay, Judy, number one. I I have to wear a uniform. Uniform. Okay. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Uniform. uniform. A uniform. I had to wear a uniform. A uniform. Okay, muy bien. Uh, let's see, Rafael, number two. Okay, teacher. He has to study for a test. Number three, Michelle. No se me duerma. <laughs> she has to go home. Okay, muy bien. Go now. Clara, number four. We have to wash the dishes. Okay, number three. Uh, number three, Vladimir. No, number five, perdón. I have to feed my dog. Feed, uh -huh. Francisco, number six. Number six, uh, Bo. And I have to clean our bedrooms. 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 Explain bed, the bedroom. Okay, Jocelyn, number seven. Leo has to take out the trash. <laughs> okay, thank you. Alfredo Enrique, number eight. Leo has to feed her fish. Leo has to her fish. Excellent. Judy, number nine. No, perdón, no es Judy, no es Judy, no es Judy, no es Judy. Es Jonathan. Jonathan que se me anda escondiendo con cámara apagada. A ver, Jonathan. ¿Será que está ahí Jonathan? No creo que me dejó ahí abandonada. Lady, number nine. Ahí está Jonathan. Jonathan, no se esconda. Number nine, Jonathan. They have to practice piano. Excellent. Lady, number 10. Peter has to go to school now. Okay. And Jenny, number one. I have to wear uniform. Okay, las cámaras, las cámaras, recuerden. Julia, number two. Julia, number two. Julia, Julia. ¿No está Julia? Okay. Yeah. okay, Julia, number two. Read number two. He has to study for test for a test. Okay, thank you. He has to study for a test. Thank you. Okay, how do you feel this exercise? Difficult, no difficult. So so. <laughs> okay, muy bien. Now you have to I mean so you are going to write this one. Ahora usted las va a escribir o si ya las tiene, me las va a decir. But in negative, negative. ¿Las tiene? ¿Las trabajó? No, creo que no por el tiempo, solo a lo mejor la vio. Le voy a dar tres minutos, ¿ok? Tres minutos para que usted las escriba y las diga. En tres minutos me las va a decir, ¿ok? Trabaje en ello.
Okay, the time is over, okay? Let's start. Okay, Julia, number one. Julia, number one in negative. Now in negative. Peter doesn't have to wear a uniform. Doesn't have to wear, excellent. Number two, Rafael. Okay, teacher. They don't have a study for a test. Okay, excellent. Number three, Michelle. Sheila doesn't uh, feel her dog. Doesn't have to feel. Okay. Thank you. Jaime, number four. We doesn't have much to this. Okay, number five, Francisco. Uh, Sue don't have to take the uh, out the don't 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 have to su su si sí, correcto Sue don't. Uh, don't have to lo vamos a poner a bailar si se equivoca <laughs> la vamos a poner a bailar <laughs> ¿Cómo sería <laughs> Doesn't have to. Ay, Francisco, ya va a bailar con Ponte. Sorry, teacher. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm just kidding. Estoy bromeando. Okay. Ahí es doesn't have to take out the trash. Okay. Vamos con Alfredo. Alfredo Enrique. Six. 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 Yes, six. No le dije el número. Six. We don't have to clean our bedroom. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Number seven. Vamos a ver. Judy, number seven. Leo doesn't have to go now. Doesn't have to go now. Excellent. Jocelyn, number eight. Mary and Sue. Uh, don't don't have clean the kitchen. Don't don't have to. Excellent, Jocelyn. Jenny, number nine. Jenny. I don't help my neighbor. I don't have to help my neighbor. Excellent. Clara, number ten. She. Doesn't have go to school. Excellent. Jonathan, number one. Jonathan, se fue Jonathan. Lady, number one. Lady, lady. Peter doesn't have to wear a uniform. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Muy bien. Good. Acá tenemos negative. Perdón, interrogative, ya vimos negative y affirmative. Aquí tenemos interrogative. ¿Por qué, teacher, tocamos estas dos? Y esta la voy a explicar rápidamente. Ok. ¿Qué necesitamos acá? Das. Das, un auxiliary. Pero como ese todavía no lo hemos, eh, como he estudiado, ¿verdad? Por acá. Por ejemplo... Hemos estudiado solo el negativo. Las preguntas todavía no, entonces no vamos a, a tocar esa parte. Pero si usted quiere saber, ¿verdad? Investigar, esto solo lo voy a tomar como un, una pequeña capsulita. Usted lo que hace es lo siguiente. Pone un auxiliar do cuando es de, ¿verdad? Tenemos una persona, so that is plural. O sea, do, su, si, en, chon, and have to. Igual, solo cuando son terceras perso personas, como en este caso, that is the third person, that is the, per the first, in the first case. So you say das. Yes, you got it? You got it, got it, got it? Sí? Yes. Muy bien, entonces esa es, le queda a usted. ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahorita? Let's practice this one. Vamos a practicar esto y lo vamos a hacer de manera. Ahora acá no lo voy a poner en pareja. Yo voy a ir diciendo quién lo lee. Así que practíquelo 
¿verdad? Practice this dialogue in a four minutes. I'm going to start. Lo vamos a leer de manera así rápida, ¿verdad? <coughs> y en cuatro minutos voy a empezar a preguntar, ¿ok? Ok, practice this one. Okay, the time is over, guys. I'm going to start with Michelle. Michelle, read the first one. Hola, hola. Okay, lea solo la primera. Read the first one. Solo esto. I'm Molly. 
Okay. Uh, Jaime, the second. The second, Jaime. Hi, Lily. Okay. Number the third one, Rafael. Okay. How are you getting on? Alfredo, continue. Continue. Oh, I'm fine, thank you. And you? Continue, Jenny. Not so good. Okay, continue. Francisco? Uh, what's up? Let's have a tell if you have time. Continue, Clara. Sure, I must make my report by the end of the week, but I will not be able to manage to manage it why okay why i suppose away okay thank you continue jonathan and says the topic is difficult jonathan the topic is difficult the topic is difficult and i really don't have time for it thank you jonathan jocelyn continue We can use the internet. Okay, Judy, continue. No, we shouldn't. No, we shouldn't uh, do it. We had borrowed March when we use our own words. Okay, lady, continue. I must have. I must have a team. Fear of all. Just have a sleep. You really need. Need it. You look tired. Okay, excellent. Uh, David, continue. I will have a rest. David. David, David, me dijo que ya podía participar. No. I will have a rest if, a rest if I am able to have, have the time. Excellent. Julia. Continue, let's have a real chat. Let's have a real chat. I was going to have lunch. You can join me. Okay, thank you. Vamos con. I can help me. Judy. Judy. Do you have time to have a look at my problems? Okay, y luego termino yo. Yes, I do, and many help you, and I will have a try. Thank you, dear. Okay, muy bien. Si usted se fijó, acá está el uso del have, ¿verdad? Del have to. Y también usted ve algunas cosas como en la última palabra, bueno, las, donde dice acá, no es en la última. This one, it's okay. Let's have a real chat. And I was going... I was going, this is a uh, past continuous, este es, un, este es un past continuous, pero yo lo tomé, ¿verdad? Y me gustó mucho porque tiene muchas palabras que podemos emplear con nuestra pronunciación. ¿Cómo se pronuncia able? Todos dijeron able, ¿verdad? Able is able to, able to, ojo con eso, able to. Muy bien, bueno chicos, hemos llegado entonces casi al final, ¿verdad? Y ahora sí nos toca retornar a lo que es nuestro libro para usted ya va a ser pan comido verdad esta conversación y la va, nada más solo le voy a dar two minutes okay listen to me just the one one time so okay Adam the new material just arrived in the morning tell Max that has to store everything where does he have to store the boxes he and he and Ivan have to search them in the in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use if if the leaf? They have to use the leaf. But ask and tell the secretary first. She's going to say that can they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what I have to do. Aquí puede decir Ivan, so que es en inglés. Oh, Ivan. 
o Iván, ¿ok? Muy bien, tiene dos minutos para practicar, tres, tres minutos para practicarlo. En tres minutos empezamos y aquí sí en parejas. Usted va a elegir la pareja que quiere, con quien quiere pasar. Okay, guys, the time is over. Just some time. Okay, Judy, con quien quiere pasar usted? Choose one of your classmates. Judy, Judy? Um, Francisco? Francisco, go ahead and start okay. you, Judy, and then continue you, Francisco. The new materials use a read in the morning. Tell Max that the that he has to store everything. Uh, where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Uh, okay, but there, there are many boxes. Can they use the, the lights? They had to use the life, but as and tell the secretary first. Uh, she is going to say they can use it. Then I am going to tell Max and the, the Ivan what they have to do. Finish. Finish, teacher. Okay, thank you. Good job. Ahora vamos con Michelle. Choose one of your co-workers. Clara, go ahead, start Michelle, and then continue. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store every everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He, he and Ivan had to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they can they use the lift? They have to use the light, but as and 
tell the secretary first? She's going to say, can you use it? Then I, I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. And thank you. Muy bien. Vamos con Rafael. Choose one of your friends. Elija uno okay. de ellos. David. David, okay. are you ready, David? Okay. Yes, okay. So are you Rafael, and then continue, David. Okay. The new material use arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where, where does he have to store the muscles? He and Avon have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but here there are many muscles. Can they use the light? They have to use uh, the air for us until our secretary feels is going to say the can use it. Then I going to tell Max and Avon what they have to do. Finish it. Okay, thank you. Muy bien. Vamos a ver. Ahora por el tiempo lo vamos a hacer los que no hemos faltado, los que faltamos, verdad? Que no hemos participado. Muy bien. Vamos a ver. Entonces estamos los que no hemos participado en este momento. Vamos, Jenny. Lea the first one, Jenny. Solo la primera, the first one, Jenny. Okay, the new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that they have to store everything. Okay, Alfredo, read Sam. Read Sam. Alfredo. Where does he have to store the boxes? Okay, Aaron, lo lee Jaime. Uh, he and Evan have to store them in their warehouse. Okay, thank you. Uh, lo lee Sam, okay. Lo lee Jonathan Valladares. Oh, lady, lea. Okay. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? Ok, Julia, lea lo siguiente. They have to use the light, but ask and tell the secretary first. Ok, and Judy, the last one. She is going to say they can use it. Then I am going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Excellent, thank you. Muy bien, vamos con esto. Vamos a ver, ¿cómo sería? The first one. The first one. The company. The company. The company has to, has to buy a new material. Number two. Your partners have to. Martin have to. Have to. Fill up the container. The container. Number three. The agent. Don't, don't have to don't have to sing sing the lyrics sing the lyrics okay number four is it doesn't have 
Doesn't this have to design. New models. Design. design. New models. See, number five. The group doesn't. Uh, the group doesn't. Send to have to have to not work. Work. not work have to doesn't have to work you know, work. 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 work okay it's enough okay this is for you okay this is all completed so let's move on to the next exercise okay this is the next exercise what do you what do you think that is this one number one for example max and ivan have to or have to mm -hmm. have to have to okay number two Aaron has to. Aaron has to has help. Aaron has to. Has to help. Store the boxes. Okay. Sam doesn't have, have, have to. Have to. Doesn't, doesn't have to. Doesn't have to help. And number four. The secretary has, has to, to say that they. Excellent, guys. Very good. Okay, guys. What did you learn from today? What did you learn from today? ¿Qué aprendió el día de ahora? What did you learn? Que en los negativos siempre se ocupa have, no has en los como he y she. Excellent, muy bien, muy bien, excelente. What else? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Eh, ahí no es un singular. Ajá, excellent, very good, nice. Entonces, hemos aprendido sobre how to use. We'll learn how to use what? How to use what? Have to use have and have to and has. has and has to. Muy bien. Okay, guys, have to rest. Okay, and see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye bye. What's a pleasure to be here with you. Bye bye, guys. Mm -hmm. Have a beautiful night. Blessing everybody. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye. que yo le quería comentar algo no tell me tell me tell me okay. no no es acerca de la clase pero ah. es eh, referente a un compañero ah. eh, que usted lo menciona acá pero fíjese de que él dice que tuvo un problema con el celular entonces lo reseteó y perdió todos los contactos y dice de que escribió al único número que se acordaba de, de inglés corporativo pero no le han dado respuesta y esa es la razón por la que no se ha conectado. Y yo ahora le mandé el link, pero dice de que no, no le permite ingresar así. ¿Y será que ya está él, ya habló con los de corporativo y nadie le contesta? Él me dijo que ya les había escrito, dice que a, eh, ayer comenzamos. Sí, ¿verdad? Ya, ya. <risa> <risa> ya siento que yo un montón. <risa> eh... <risa> Dice de que ayer eh, les escribió, incluso les estuvo escribiendo durante toda la clase y no le dieron respuesta. Por eso ahora llegó y me, me preguntó y me dijo que se lo pasaba y yo se lo pasé, pero dice que, que no lo deja ingresar aún así. Vaya, entonces hagamos una cosa. Usted sí está en el grupo de WhatsApp. Sí. Vaya, entonces ahí está mi número. Escríbame 
en privado y yo lo voy a pasar con la coordinadora. Escríbame en privado. El mío es, ya le digo. Si gusta, anótelo para que no lo ande buscando en el grupo. Anote mi número y me escribe el número de él para pasarlo yo con la coordinadora. Bye. Que la coordinadora le, lo, lo, le, 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 le haga todo, ¿verdad? Va muy bien. Va, 77. Ochenta y ocho. Me pone soy Jocelyn, ¿verdad? Para <ríe> identificar. Bye. Jocelyn Rodríguez. 77, 88, 45, 30. Vaya. Ajá, entonces usted me lo me escribe, me deja el número de él, me soy Jocelyn, eh, aquí está el número de mi compañero, se llama el nombre de él, ¿verdad? Todo su nombre completo y yo lo voy a pasar con la coordinadora para que puedan eh, comunicarse con él. Vaya. Ok, excelente Jocelyn, un gusto. Feliz noche. Buenas noches.